Hi guys, just wanted to make a quick video on Raspberry Pi Pico W's and share some knowledge. So in front of me I have two Raspberry Pi Pico boards. One of them is from the Raspberry Pi Foundation and the another one is from China. It's a cloned version. I won't say it's a copy board because there are some differences and once you say something is copied it means it's 100% uh, copy and paste and it's nothing different but in this case there are some subtle differences firstly in terms of appearance you can see this one has a shielded Wi-Fi and this one has no shielding at all and this one has a different antenna and this one has a completely different antenna in fact this one has an ESP8285 chip while this one has an Infineon 43439 so, so there are some key differences in the Wi-Fi chips then there are some differences in the power section as well and I won't be surprised if there are also some differences in the flash memories as well then there are some differences in terms of USB connectivity the clone has a much more standardized USB type C connector while this one has the old school micro USB connector so in terms of connectivity I will prefer this one because this is now the currently the standard for all laptops and mobiles other than that both of these boards feature the same RP2040 chip which is the backbone of the Raspberry Pi Pico now if we flip around we can also see some differences on the back side as well you see the genuine one has some literature including FCC mark C mark and I believe that they have obtained certifications from these bodies then there are also some other write-ups but the clone has nothing except the IOP naming and numbering so again if you flip around so what's the difference is it just the appearance no this board the official one has support in both Arduino and MicroPython while this one has no official support and many people who still is in uh, first thoughts that they are going to buy Raspberry Pi Pico W they will get fooled because this one in terms of ap appearance looks almost same as this one unless you see the significant differences like the antenna the shielding and other things so if you ask me what's the difference main difference in terms of software this one uses 80 commands the classical 80 commands to get connected with Wi-Fi and the 80 commands are sent via serial port so this one has uh, this one is clearly far behind than this one because the official one has sub, uh, support written without any 80 commands or something like that there are ready libraries for this one and so in if you are going to use this one then you have to write programs and then uh, the obvious question also <laughs> rises why would someone use a raspberry pi pico and a esp8285 when we can use the esp8285 as a chip instead of the pico so there are supports for arduino as well as micropython so this is clearly something i would say a stupid idea but still yeah, this one uh, is for those people who would like to use 80 commands other than the official support and in terms of price this is almost half the price of this one so if you are thinking of cutting project cost then this one is preferred other than that I did not find any major significant differences apart from the things I said so this one can be used instead of this one but some 
expert level programming is needed so i don't think i don't know if everyone uh, will be willing to sacrifice that much so then we have other boards like these ones these are not genuine boards this one is from wafeshare and uh, this one is from wafeshare and this one this uh, this one is from another supplier and this one is also from another supplier so these are clones of the original raspberry pi pico w oh not pico w i mean the raspberry pi pico but they are improved versions because they have larger capacity flashes they have reset buttons and other tweaks like this one has a uh, neo pixel led as well and all of these boards have type c usb port which is very useful nowadays so going back so let's say if i put this one and these two things in place it's like stacking a raspberry pi pico with uh, esp8285 it's there's no difference between this and this it's almost same so what they did here is just like stacking this esp8285 chip other than that if we ignore this part then it's just a simple raspberry pi pico it's not a pico w so i hope guys you enjoyed and learned some valuable things thanks for watching